Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity for January 2021. My goal with these videos is to highlight what can be done with the engine so you know that the only limit is really just your own imagination. All of these games are uniquely impressive and showcase the power of the engine in tons of different scenarios so the list is in no particular order except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. So let's go starting off at number 10. Over here we have Cobra Kai, the Karate Kid saga continues. It's a fighting game with lots of abilities, movesets and unique characters. Naturally it's based on the Karate Kid movies as well as the show so it's bound to be full of references. You choose a side and play as one of 8 unique characters. Fight your way through an epic beat em up adventure inspired by the show. It's got lots of interesting unique skills, they really took the concept of the movies and turned it into an epic brawler. Features a unique storyline for each side, so you fight as Daniel from the Miyagi school or as Johnny from the Cobra Kai. Seamlessly swap between characters on the fly and learn all their moves. Features voice work from the actors of the show like Ralph Macchio, William Zabka and other top tier cast. If you're into brawlers or beat em ups then this seems like a nice solid entry in the genre. Cobra Kai. Then here we have a rare in the sequel, Mad Games Tycoon 2. This is a sequel to the first game that came out all the way back in 2016. That game was extremely successful and this one is already off to an excellent start. As the name implies, you run a game development company and play through the various eras. Start all the way back in 1976, making games on ancient machines and keep upgrading your studio and making better games as the years go on. Your goal is to develop games, but it also features console development. Design and build your own console and bring it to market. The game is in full 3D and looks pretty great. The scale is also big, you don't just manage a single building, but rather multiple buildings, giving you plenty of space to upgrade, organize and expand your business. You not only develop the game software, but you're also in charge of physical production. So stamping this, putting them in boxes and shipping them to your players. It is out now on early access and they intend to continue updating the game consistently for at least one year. So if you are a fan of the original, then this seems to expand upon every area in that one. Learn all about VR and AR with the Patreon sponsor XR Bootcamp. It's a 6-8 to eight week bootcamp taught by industry professionals. Learn how to interact in VR, optimize your rendering and learn about dots. Check them out at xrbootcamp.com and use the coupon CM10 to get 10% off any of the master classes. Then over here at number 8 we have a game with a very interesting look, Scalboy Refractor. I love the art style in this one, flat characters in a 3D world, lots of depth of field effect and thick black outlines. So it's really unique, I really enjoy this look. It's an action RPG where you play as Skippy, a flexible skeleton, swap out different body parts taken from friends and foes and become the hero your kingdom needs. Equip unique weapons and test your skills against special enemies and bosses. Play the game either solo or alongside of the friend with two player co-op. I might get this one just to spend some time analyzing the visuals, I really like how it looks. For something a bit more relaxing check out Tiny Lens. It's a hidden object game with some gorgeous dioramas, very simple concept but very well executed. Explore, look, zoom and rotate all the scenes to find all the differences. There's dozens of scenes and all of them look great with some nice low poly assets and beautiful lighting and effects. It's a great example of a simple game with a very clear goal and executed perfectly. Definitely the kind of thing that a solo dev or a small team can accomplish. And by the way, if you find the video helpful, consider subscribing and hitting the like button, it really helps out the channel. Back to something a bit more intense with Metal Unit. Put on a mech suit and fight enemies in this fast paced action platformer. Earth is under siege by monsters and machines so it's up to you to save the planet. Explore the world in a huge and diverse environment, travel the world to progress the story or go underground for a challenge and a chance at big rewards. Features roguelite elements where upon death your equipment gets converted into research points which you then can use to unlock new items and skills. Lots of upgrades and unique weapons to try out. Also features adaptive difficulty so you can make it easy or if you want a hard game you can check out the challenge mode and reap exciting rewards. It has great looking pixel art, excellent animations and effects, so it's a really good looking game. And at number 5 we have Home Behind 2. This is a roguelike RPG taking place in a country in the midst of civil war. Lead a group of revolutionary fighters and free your country battle by battle. Recruit and train dozens of guerrilla fighters, unlock over 30 jobs, each of them with their own talents, stats and skills. Features a strategic combat system, hit the pause button and decide your actions and defeat your enemies, build and upgrade your camp and explore a randomly generated world full of unique terrain, buildings and interesting events. 
It's got elements of strategy, adventure and resource management. I've never played Darkest Dungeon, but this seems similar to that, but in a modern setting. It is currently out in Early Access and it already seems very feature rich. Already has 1500 very positive reviews in such a short period of time. Tons of mechanics and a giant world, which when coupled with the random generation can definitely give you a ton of enjoyment for many, many hours. Then here we have a game that just came out after one year in Early Access, Skull the Hero Slayer. It is an action roguelike 2D platformer. The unique hook is how you can equip multiple skulls and each of them gives you unique powers and abilities. Equip two skulls at the same time and combine their powers to perfectly match your preferred playstyle. It features some gorgeous 2D art, lots of polished effects and some great animations. Cross paths with other adventurers who wish to hunt you down and use your skills to defeat them and show who really is the hunter. At the end of every chapter, go head to head with massive bosses that will test all of your skills and reflexes. Then for a new VR game, we have Undead Development. It is out now after three years in early access. Gather resources, barricade your home and defend from the Undead Horde. The design is simple but seems to be well made. Every interaction is nicely tweaked for VR. You barricade your windows by directly hammering on the objects and you also gather resources by manually destroying other objects. Defend yourself using a multitude of weapons from a simple axe to various machine guns. Explore different maps and progress with your character. It is designed for replayability, so if you enjoy the core loop, you'll definitely get a lot out of it. Next up, for an interesting dungeon puzzle game, here is one named exactly Dungeon and Puzzles. You have a limited number of moves and abilities that you must use to destroy your enemies and leave the dungeon. Think ahead and plan accordingly, do the right moves in the right order and keep going, push enemies towards traps and pull objects towards you. Attack from a distance with a bow or up close with a sword. It features 150 handcrafted levels, find the optimal solution for all of them and clear the dungeon. And finally here at number 1 is my personal pick for this month. It is an awesome sci-fi simulation automation management game named Dyson Sphere Program. The Dyson Sphere is one of the coolest sci-fi concepts that I've heard of, so I'm honestly surprised as to why this is the very first game that I've seen tackle that concept. You control a main character, a nice giant mech, and start by directly gathering resources from your very first planet. Soon enough, you stop doing manual labor and begin making some machines to do the work for you, and then some conveyor belts to move the resource around. You keep building and growing, harvesting more and more energy and resources until you have enough to upgrade your mecha to interplanet travel. Colonize multiple planets and establish trade routes between them, then continue growing, upgrading to interstellar travel, and create a Dyson Sphere to harvest the sun. The universe is procedurally generated, so every player has a totally unique experience. It has all kinds of celestial bodies like neutron stars, red giants, white dwarfs, and it even has some mysterious black holes, so who knows what they do. Start small and build a giant universe empire bit by bit. The scale of the game is very impressive. It makes me wonder if they're using dots or the job system anywhere in this game. It really does have a massive, very impressive scale with thousands of objects moving around. And despite that, this is being made by a small team of just five people, so very, very impressive. They had a successful Kickstarter that raised $10,000 and is currently out in early access. It's already got over 5,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews, so this is already a huge hit. This is exactly my kind of game and I already picked it up for myself a while ago, so look forward to a game dev review in the near future. Alright, so there you have it, 10 awesome new games made with Unity launched in January 2021. Check out the full playlist to see more awesome Unity games. Do you have any other hidden gems that you found this month? If so, let me know in the comments. I'm planning to do these videos about once a month so I can keep up to date with what's coming out. If you want to be a successful indie game developer, you definitely need to keep an eye on the current state of your competition. And as I said, another goal with this series is to highlight what can be done with the engine so you know that the only limit is really just your own imagination. Many of these games look awesome, everything from simple to very complex, and they were built either solo or by small teams, so I hope that this serves as inspiration on your own journey. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.